Hello there. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me just trying to use this for the first time. So we're going to do a little tutorial. Uh, I have a friend that I helped install Gentoo Linux and he wants to install a package called NeoVim. And uh, he's having quite a lot of trouble with it. Now NeoVim apparently and another package called Fish which is um, a console shell. I've never used either of these but uh, they They are both uh, testing version packages, right? So if we look in Gentoo's package database for uh, NeoVim, right? We can see there's NeoVim, but here's, herein lies the problem, right? There's no stable version. They're, they're all testing, they're all yellow. Um, you know, and this has, has a requirement on LUAJIT. Um, and apparently a whole bunch of other stuff that would need to be changed to be able to install this um, as well as fish app shells fish which which is stable right so that's probably not what's causing it uh, it's probably NeoVim uh, versus, say, just Vim, right? Right. So if we look at Vim, there's a whole lot of other Vim packages. App Editor's Vim. It's also stable, but there's a testing version, right? So when you run into these testing versions, that gets a little bit more complicated, right? So we need to to address that by editing the package uh, keywords unmasking file. Package.accept keywords. Now I've got several of them in here for this build that I've already been working on. So I'm going to go Neo, Neo Vim, just to add, you know, a section for what's related to any changes that I need to make for that package. And then uh, the app editor's, app editor's Neo Vim? What was it? NeoVim. App Editor's NeoVim, right? So App Editor's NeoVim. Add that to one line, save it, right? And then we'll do fish as well. see a bunch of stuff here that's necessary. Okay, so the V term. This was another one. So what we'll do is we'll add just this version. Copy. We'll copy that, go back here, go down to the bottom. We'll add just that version. Check again. Right, so then we need a uh, message pack. But I think this is where we run into the problem. Is that this has three different versions you can unmask. Right, so why don't we go with just the, the, the least required version, test that and see if that works. Right, down to the bottom again. We'll try that. We'll try 1.1.0. Okay, so then we need uh, LUV 1.3.2.0.0. We'll copy that back up here. Save it. Check again.
and then we'll probably need to add uh, another package. This one, uh, uni, uni, bilum. All right, uni bilum it is. All right, so back here, down to the bottom, add the equals, uh, shift insert from the uh, clipboard. This is this is just package management dependencies, um, satisfying dependencies and maintaining consistency. This is this is like system control. So there we go. So now we've got the rest of these packages require LUAJIT support. So what we'll do is we'll copy these. Go to package.use. check again so we're getting a list that's our packages package dependencies are satisfied and there we go and that's all it, all it takes and that is how you uh, unmask testing packages while maintaining a fully stable gen2 system build and this build already has like what uh, 1400 packages on a laptop and you can see that by by this like it's not globally unmasked that's that enforces uh, stable uh, packages being installed unless you unmask them to explicitly permit that which is just good practice that keeps everything from breaking while you can only break certain things or, or you know use certain packages that may not quite be ready yet so I'm just going to queue a full system rebuild just to see how many packages are installed so currently we have a total of 1541 packages yep and uh, yeah there you go a little perspective for you Good luck. I managed to do it, so can you.